Dow Jones closed slightly higher today, but stocks have been getting battered in recent days with the stalemate in Washington. Families are starting to worry about everything from their investments to social security checks. Local 12's Paula Todi has been looking into what we might expect as things drag on. She joins us live with some past history that could be a guide. Paula. Cammy, the government has shut down 17 times since 1976. The last time was 1995. But this shutdown isn't what's really shaking confidence in the economy. It's that next week on the 17th, the government will have to stop paying some of its bills if the debt ceiling isn't raised. In other words, it won't be able to borrow money by issuing treasuries. Mary always was out spending money today. We have to do keep going like we normally do, and I'm not worried yet. To some extent, the government will keep going past the 17th no matter what, according to Jason Jackman at Johnson Investment Council. Our personal view is that the U.S. Treasury will not default on Treasury obligations, that once they get to that point, there's enough revenue coming in to cover debt service and interest payments on U.S. Treasuries, but there isn't enough coming in to pay everything the government owns. And when the government has to start prioritizing, there are things to worry about. Probably the stock market, I think. And, um, you know, probably veterans and people not getting their monthly allotments and can't pay their bills. Jackman says a big test will be the October 23rd Social Security payment. Very political uh, powder keg there with Social Security payments and a lot of people in need of those, uh, those monthly checks. So likely the political will will be there to make those payments. The uncertainty will likely continue to hammer stocks. The market dropped 20 percent during a similar situation in August 2011. Still, Jackman says there's little you can do. If you try to sell in your retirement account, it could pop right back up when a deal is struck in Washington. And while some have predicted a big spike in interest rates, Jackman doesn't see that either for rates more than a month out. And if mortgage rates move up, he says he doesn't expect it to be by much or for long. He is worried about a tired American public. You're starting to see an impact consumer confidence, business confidence indicators. That can start to show up in real indicators uh, in the months ahead. Mary is tired of the bickering and expects it to go down to the wire. Then everything will be settled and they won't talk about it for a while and go on to some other problem. And so again, Jackman doesn't think the government will default on paying its treasury obligations. And that's the issue that some fear will literally rock the world economy. And even though it's been said the government has never failed a payment, he says that's not true. It was in 1979. However, investors were made whole on that interest payment in just a couple of days. Cammie.